Today I'm going to show you how to make my healthy crispy five seed keto crackers without sesame and we're going to also make a sweetened chocolate version too. If you've never made them before you're going to see how easy they are and you're never going to buy these things again and it's so fun to customize the flavors you can make them sweet you can make them savory so we're going to start with our basic seed cracker recipe and we're just going to add everything into a bowl we're going to start with a quarter cup of sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds chia seeds i'm using golden flax but if you've got brown feel free to use brown and then some hemp and we're going to add three quarters of a cup of cooler water we don't want hot water here and a healthy pinch of salt, about a half a teaspoon. And then we're gonna give it a mix and we're gonna let this sit. And your flax seeds and your chia seeds are gonna hydrate and it's going to thicken this mixture up and hold it together. And while we let this sit, we are going to mix up our chocolate version. So we're using the same basic ingredients for this one. We're just doing it in a smaller batch size just because it's a sweeter version and I don't go through them as much. I love to throw the plain crackers on all kinds of stuff like salads. So we're gonna add all our seeds, a tablespoon of each. So it's more about the ratios of one to one to one. And then we're gonna do a half tablespoon of cocoa nibs. And here when we add our water, instead of three scoops of water, we're gonna do two scoops of water and one of maple syrup. And it's gonna add a little bit of sweetness in those last two there are water. And we're gonna do one teaspoon of cocoa powder and a pinch of salt. See how this one's already thickened up a little bit? Actually happens pretty quick so we're gonna give the chocolate version a stir then we're gonna let them both sit until they're nice and thickened and then we're gonna spread them out on trays and cook them so this is just a few minutes later see how our plain version has thickened up really nicely our chocolate version is still needs a little bit more sitting sit time to thicken up I'm just gonna give it a stir and then we're just gonna let it sit a little bit more maybe five more minutes and we'll come back to it Okay, so now they're both nicely thickened. So we're gonna grab some trays and some parchment paper and we're gonna get spreading this out. So we're gonna show you how to cook. I'm gonna cook the sweetened one in our air fryer. This is the air fryer I have at the bakery. It has this divider that you can pull out so you can actually cook larger amounts of things, which is really handy in this case. But if you only have one with a small basket, you can definitely subdivide your batch and cook it in little batches until you've baked it all off or just throw it on a big tray in your oven that works too nice and easy and for the plain crackers i'm going to put it in my oven i'm at the bakery um so i have to adjust the bake time a little bit because our oven at the bakery bakes different than a home oven so you'll see when i show you putting these in the oven that the time and temperature is a little off but i will adjust it in the instructions for you now you can use a spatula to spread this out or a rolling pin. I find it's really easy to judge the thickness of it. If you just press it with your hands, you can also guide it better into the corners instead of having it just kind of squeeze out in a random direction. This way you can kind of guide it into the corners and you can feel when it's as thick as a pumpkin seed and you've got it nice and thin. And then I pull off the parchment. You see how I'm peeling it? straight back if you pull up and back it tends to pull seeds off but if you pull it right back it tends to leave most of them intact I'm gonna reuse this parchment paper for my second half if you have larger sheet trays go ahead and put it all on one I only have these quarter sheet trays and then I have massive sheet trays here so this is what I'm using but you guys use whatever you've got and we're just gonna press it out. So we've got both sheet trays of plain crackers ready to go now. I'm just gonna move that aside while we work on our chocolate version, which is gonna go in the air fryer. I've got my two sheets of parchment. Actually, at first, you'll see here, I try to spread it with the spoon instead of using parchment just so I don't waste one sheet of parchment just for rolling it out, but I can't get it quite as thin and it starts to pull holes. It's so much easier to just put a piece of parchment on top and spread it out. And then because this one's going in the air fryer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a scissors and I'm going to cut fairly close to these crackers just so there isn't extra paper that can 
kind of pull up and get in the element of the air fryer because we've had paper catch fire in our air fryer before at home and we don't want that to happen. So put that in the air fryer. We're gonna go pop that in. Let's go. For all these crackers, we kind of want it low and slow. We're more about dehydrating than actually baking. We're gonna put it on 300. You see I put it at 315, but it's actually 300. We want it 300 for 15 minutes in your air fryer. And then check on them and see 15 minutes seems to be enough that it doesn't need any more time in ours. It's nice and dry. And when you let them cool, they crisp up nicely. However, in the oven, what I find is you need 300 degrees for 15 minutes. See, I adjusted it. I have to go 25 degrees lower in our oven at the bakery because it's convection and it's very high powered. So we're gonna go 300 degrees, 15 minutes in the regular oven. Then we're going to check on them. We're going to score them. If you want to score them and have cute square crackers, this is when you're gonna do it when they're half baked because they're no longer sticky, but they're not brittle yet. So you're gonna score them. I'm using a pizza cutter, which is super handy. You can use a knife. And then we're gonna pop this back in the oven for another 15 minutes. So our crackers have been in the oven for the full 30 minutes. We're gonna pull them out. And when you pull them at first, they're gonna be warm and they're gonna be soft still. They're not gonna be crispy till they cool off a little bit. Once they've cooled off a little and you can handle them, you can crack them, you can break them into pieces. The ones you didn't score are gonna break irregular pieces, whereas the ones you scored are gonna make nice square regular shapes. So those are our plain crackers. I like these because it's a very neutral flavor and you can use it in any kind of dip or any kind of topper. The chocolate version is a fun twist and it's delicious on its own just as a sweet little snack. So now you've got a plain cracker recipe, you've got a sweet cracker recipe, and down below I'm going to show you some flavor options if you want to go more savory, add some onion, garlic, some herbs, and you're just going to want to store these in airtight containers until you've gobbled them all up.